welcome back my friends welcome back so we've been talking about waivers how do you file for these waiver how do you know, even know if you're eligible to file well hopefully you kind of know you have some kind of red flags one of the things I've encountered in my practice and I had this happen to a client of mine another attorney had the client depart the United States before they even applied for the waiver which is why I always say consult with an attorney if you know there's any kind of red flag in your immigration matter. In fact, I think you should just consult with an attorney and then determine whether you need to work with that attorney or not. When it pertains to waiver, you want to make sure one, there's a qualifying relative. In fact, you know, whether it's a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident, or if you're self-petitioning, then that is an exemption from the waiver. Then you won't need this kind of waiver that we're referring to. So you want to make sure you have a qualifying relative. One of the things that the adjudicating officers will look for in any kind of waiver is whether there's some kind of extreme hardship. I have clients that sit across from me and tell me about the hardship they will face if they are to leave the United States. The immigration officer does not give a hoot about what kind of hardship you will face. The hardship has to be bound or has to be tied to the U.S. citizen spouse or lawful permanent resident. We call that your qualifying relative. So when we're focusing on the hardship, we're looking at the hardship factors as it pertains to your U.S. citizen or lawful resident, um, lawful permanent resident spouse. So it's important that you're able to show that you meet the statutory requirements for any kind of waiver. This is the end of week two. For next week, I am going to delve into the unlawful presence waiver. Why? Because I think it's one of the most common um, waivers that I come across in my practice because so many people enter the United States unlawfully or and or they need to depart. You can find me at winterimmigration.com. You can find me at winterlawpractice.com. You can always find me on Facebook at Winter Law Practice. My telephone number, 813-815-3529. Until next time, my friends, my name is Attorney Diani Winter Funde, and walk good.